Where are you originally from? This question was easily answered by many individuals. We speak of our country with ease and the people's convenience. It is a classic illustration of someone being self-assured when they support their own nation during the World Cup and Olympics. Surprisingly, the nation is a hypothetical construct. The nationality is almost entirely fictitious. However, we have congregated under the nation's name and occasionally attack other countries. Fascism is one of the extreme forms of nationalism. Hitler was the genius leader that the fascist produced to rid the great nation and keep the country united while increasing their influence around the world. They assumed it was natural that the superior nation would rule over the inferior slave nation. Jews were used as scapegoats for the madness and the tragic holocaust occurred. So how did nationalism come about? So how, if at all, did nationalism alter history? Thus we can gain knowledge of nationalism. The idea that a nation belongs to all people was spread during the French Revolution. They served the king's head, sending a message of freedom to the entire world that everyone is entitled to equality and freedom. A peaceful and free area replaced the authoritarian and hierarchical one, and many states were forced to restructure their systems of government. Nationalism is the way. Efficiency was by far the most obvious factor in the state emphasis on nationalism. In a nation where everyone exercised their rights and obligations equally, it was effective in governing the nation. First of all, bringing everyone together is beneficial. The first step toward becoming a powerful nation was to bring all people together under the banner of the nation. An illustration of how nationalism can succeed is the unification of Germany and Italy. It is also advantageous economically. In the Middle Ages, the state had to wage war using wealthy mercenaries. However, the focus on ethnicity led to a clear justification for conscripting the populace and ultimately result in budget cut. After nationalism advantages became known, nations competed fiercely to advance their national competitiveness. The United States began to operate in 1816 and 1817 including in Europe. Examples of it include US, Japan, Germany, Italy. To bring the divided people together, a system was required and the system was primarily based on that of the ruling class and the particular legion. As an illustration, during the process of unifying Italy, the language of Tuscany was chosen as the national tongue. These nation states increased their colony size while enriching their own industries. That is imperialism. In order to advance its own nationalities, the dominant nation exterminated the nationality of other nations. The imperial area appeared to come to an end in this situation thanks to Wilson's 14 points. He argued that a country has the right to decide its own political course and the other countries cannot interfere with this right. According to Wilson, all democracies are fundamentally pro-peace, so if a country can exercise its right to self-determination, there is no justification for starting war and oppressing other countries. He therefore defended the U.S. environment in World War I in the grounds of self-determination in order to bring about peace and deter Germany a peace-breaker. 
The speech touched the colonial nation's heart because it appeared to acknowledge the right of other nations to autonomy. Wilson also had an impact on Korea and China, which both organized a protest against Japan, the March 1st movement and the May 1st movement respectively. Another individual who promoted self-determination, his name was Lenin. For Lenin, advancing a socialist revolution required self-determination. The pinnacle of capitalism in Lenin's opinion was imperialism. He claimed that imperialism is capitalism at the point in its evolution when monopolies and financial capital have come to dominate. By seizing control of the market and natural resources, imperialism specifically helps the capitalists increase their profits. He concluded that the colonial nation, which had been pillaged by capitalist nation, had started a self-determination movement. The socialist revolution would occur dealing a blow to capitalism. Lenin believed that the biggest now known as capitalism would be destroyed in relatively underdeveloped regions. Lenin argued that the oppressed people of the Third World Global South region should thus come together. Lenin also emphasized that the commentary should support all national liberation movements, indeed as well as in words. In fact, the Comintern's Fourth Eastern National Congress in 1920 echoed the slogan, Workers and oppressed peoples of all countries unite. The national liberation movement of the third country benefited from assistance from the Soviet Union. The Soviet Union's assistance was the catalyst for the rise of socialist independent activities in colonial nations. Could the former colonial powers then cooperate with one another? Famous Indian independence fighter Lashi Bihari Bose opposed the independence of Korea, which was a colonial state like India. The West is the imperialist nation in both opinion. In other words, Japan, another Asian nation, did not colonize Joseon because of what he perceived to be the atrocity of imperialist nation. This demonstrates that, despite the colonial experience being shared, it is not easily unified. National self-determination, as advocated by Wilson and Lenin, doesn't however succeed. Wilson's right to national self-determination was restricted by the fact that the imperialist nations that won World War I did not give up their colonial interest. Additionally, Soviet Russia kept quiet about colonial issues as its sphere of influence came to a standstill due to the Eastern Europe border dispute. After all, the citizens of powerful nations have consistently repressed the citizens of weak nations up until this day. Nationalism has fundamentally altered the world in this way. Nationalism has been around for a while. It appears that the idea of the nation cannot exist without the nation. However, what is an ethnic group? If they share the country of birth, are they the same? What nationality are foreigners and half road from? Could the country still fool the other? So thank you for watching this video and please don't forget to click the subscribe and the like button.